Yes, John, looking forward to this session. What a wonderful prospect this Sean Fang. Cheng Zi is 5 nil. You thought it was all one way traffic, and well, there wasn't going to be too much, too many frames tonight, but wonderful 122 to make it 5 1, 110 to make it 5 3, and Mark Allen, of course, winning that very important last frame. but. Yeah, I think he'd be disappointed, Mark Allen. I mean, five nil up, that doesn't hold a, a greater advantage, but lots of evidence in this afternoon session. This young man was certainly not afraid of the task, even though he's a debutant here at the Crucible. Played some wonderful shots, didn't he? And that was two wonderful breaks. But the shots in the break, John, even when he was 5 nil, quite sensational. Yeah, and like a lot of the young players today, they, they do go through periods in matches where they score very, very heavily. And let's not forget, he was introduced as a European Open winner, and of course he beat Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final. He certainly did, 10-9. Actually watched him in the qualifiers, Judgment Day. He was 4-0 down to Stephen Maguire former UK champion came back and beat him of course that's why he's here but wonderful match down wonderful victory got to use a well a lot of side I think he's going to hit the pink this time has oh, he left anything my god six I think so <clears throat> Olivia Martel, our referee, saying I need a bit of help with this one. Pink moved, obviously, right. and I think the red does. The one so on the left-hand left side, that's the, the two that's below the pink. No, no, no. This one? No. So what, so what Ollie, that one, that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just ever so slightly up. Mm, a touch more, just a touch more, only a bit more. Yeah, that's okay. okay. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Now it's important he gets the cue ball back in the right place because as Ken said, it's not straightforward one cushion escape this. He was having a strike Thank down and impart a lot of right hand side. That's yeah. where it was. Mark. Thank you. And well, the white's okay for me. Same shot. Hoping to impart a little bit more right hand side than he got first time around. And that time, yes, he might have made it. But I think he's left a red on here. Yeah, he has. Played it with a bit more pace, needed to get a bit more side on it, but he's got two reds available one into the corner and one into this left middle pocket. Just having a look to see if he plays the one into the corner. Will the pink pot into the this bottom right corner pocket? Doesn't have to get on the pink, but play on the blue. It's amazing. A shot like that. I think it shouldn't be a problem nestling into the pack, but if you don't hit it right, you leave one red on and chance now for Mark Allen. Wow. That wasn't a nice kiss. We've hoped to be in on the blue there now. Back looking at this pink. <clears throat> does it go? It looks very tight. I think it does part, but 
It's one of those shots, John, isn't it? You've got to be right behind it. When you're playing at a bit of an angle, these are missable. Yeah, when we say right behind it, you've got to view the cue ball, the object ball, and the pocket. But in this case, you'd be playing it into what we call a blind pocket, so too risky playing the green. Yeah, this is what he's best at. Making Eight. breaks. Got wonderful cue ball control. Very different cue action to a lot of the top players. It's very short backswing, but it's very accurate. Nine. And also, he's got beautiful touch, isn't he, John? Like when he's making those little cannons and developing reds within the pack. You know, very yeah, unusual, but very effective. Yeah, it's a cue action that's suited for little stuns and screws. Still straight on the black, but it looks as if the black's on a spot, which I'm certain it is. That red just the right of it. We'll pass the black to go in this pocket. Well, he's not too sure, but it looks as though it'll clearly pass the black. Yeah, I, I always like to come from the pocket angle. If you're a little bit concerned, you come around from the pocket angle and have a look. And if you do, you can see it does clearly go. Sometimes when you're looking at that angle, John, you, you sort of see the black in your way, don't you? But when you come around from the back of the pocket, 16. you can see it definitely goes from there. Seventeen. Nice angle on the black now to play a cannon. There's no loose red to automatically get on. Pushed the cue ball just an inch up further up the table. He's slightly hampered on this red.
that's her belongings. That's from that, that girl. and gents we are doing our level best to get this show back on the road but it might take a little while patience please and the world-class snooker will resume as soon as we possibly can
ladies and gents, here is the update. Right. We are having a delay on this table. We were trying to recover this as quickly as humanly possible, but that is going to take a while. So, in the next few minutes, if you're outside, please make your way back in, because live snooker is about to recommence in the Crucible. So, what we're going to do, as is sometimes the tradition in this fabulous arena, this great divide is going to be lifted, so we will temporarily, once again, become a one-table arena. If, if this match finishes relatively quickly, Mike Ganley, the tournament director, will talk to Rob Milkins and Joe Perry, and between them they will decide if it is appropriate to restart their match on that table, but of course that will be dependent on how quickly this does or doesn't finish. So, the divide's going up. At the very least, you are going to see the conclusion of Mark Allen against Fan Zheng Yi. If that match finishes quickly, Rob Milkins and Joe Perry will be over here as well. So we are about to recommence. I will reintroduce the players. And hey, hey, Mike, you're gonna lift this. Mike, can we get this lifted now? Sorry, please. Hello! Right. This is... This is totally... No. This is totally, obviously, totally unprecedented. The most important thing is that no one's been hurt. Uh, and our great tournament... Our great tournament is about to resume. Now, how about, how about when we get these players back out, how about we send a message with a standing ovation that we will not be stopped for anything? I will get my jacket and await instructions. We are going live again very soon. Yeah, I'm just getting the jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the climax of day three of the World Snooker Championship. This is the iconic Crucible Theatre. This is world... Oh. Ah. Oh. Apparently we weren't live, but we will be soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all set to resume. Mark Allen, Fang Sheng Yi. This great event stops for no one.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rishi. Breaks on 24. Tricky red to the middle. And considering what happened, Thank you, tremendous shot from Mark Allen. I don't know what all the fuss was about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, settle down, please. <laughs> I don't know what all the fuss was about, he says. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Has to be the best line of the championship so far, John. 30. Must have been very difficult for these two players just to get the concentration with the back end now and hopefully everything back to normal. Thirty one. <coughs> Nicely played. This seems to be the Thank last you. of the loose reds. Maybe one that would call for a precise position of shot, or maybe a red will go to the right middle. Soon know when he plays this. Thirty-nine. Well the angle he's got. He's gonna be playing the cannon off the black into the cluster. Didn't play it with a lot of pace, but it's okay. He's got a red. Looks 46. like into the right centre pocket. We can screw back for the black here. 47. Yeah, nice shot. Just what he wanted. Mark Allen, this type of start 54. this evening. Let's try and re establish a commanding lead and also start off on the front foot. He's had such 54. a wonderful season, hasn't he, John? You know, he's coming into this championship, you know, with the tag of being one of the big favourites because of the season he's had, three tournaments under his belt final in there, semi-final, been very, very consistent. on it. This is a good performance. 60. To be disrupted as he was and to come out and kept his focus, concentration. Sixty-one. And this pink will get him to two snookers required. Seven. Taking these very, very well indeed. Sixty-eight. Well, how amazing this would be if he could go and clear the table after everything that's been happened, all the disruption, the comeback into this wonderful theatre to a standing ovation, and go on and try and make a century 76. now. Absolutely. Fantastic. Great stuff. Eighty-nine. 
Ninety. Ninety-one. Well, as you say, Ken, this 19. is absolutely wonderful from Mark. Ninety-nine. He's made many, many centuries but probably none more memorable than this, if this black goes in. Absolutely wonderful. 106. <laughs> 108. And in the context of the match, as you said, exactly what he needed to try and dispel any hopes that Fan Cheng Ji has of winning this match. One hundred and fifteen. Yeah, just wanted to start off well tonight, didn't he? Wanted to re-establish that authority, and that's exactly what he's done. And this is unbelievable, considering everything that's happened. 126. Well, playing the four cushion pot. It's not quite there. Five. I don't know where the help of the cue it could be. Just trying to finish with a trick shot. Absolutely wonderful. Snooker wins today. 7 3. Mark Allen. Thank you. Frame 11, Feng Zhang Yi to break. Yeah, completely agree with what Stephen said in the practice room. Feng Zhang Yi has just got to concentrate in his own game. He was 5-0 down in this match, came back to 5-3. And of course, Johnny watched him in the Judgment Day as well, of course, against Stephen Maguire. He was 4-0 down to him and oh, came back to beat him 10-6. So he's not afraid or adverse to comebacks. But yeah, the, but this is a different kettle of fish, as they say, at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield. Yes, and... We talk about, and it was interesting that Stephen was talking about Mark Allen. He started off the season in tremendous form. And 
it was a funny thing. He got a lot of criticism for the fact that he was playing quite slowly, and and I wondered whether that affected Mark. He's not a slow, or he was never a slow player, but he decided that that was the way he could get consistent mm. results, and took a bit of criticism for it, didn't he? He did, and uh, it was just the manner because obviously we went Tiny used to seeing the way, way he was. Because he normally so fast and he was taking a lot of time, very measured. Oops. Sorry, Ollie. Other, sorry, other way. But he was sorry. getting the results. And he was getting the results. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect now. You've got one job. <laughs> You've only got one job. You've only got one job, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Giving up on the thin. Safety, just playing to the ball, or the, sorry, the top cushion here, containing safety. I think it still leaves a chance of a pot on this red just below the black, but it's risky. I just wonder, is the possibility of the double on? Maybe not. Playing a little containing safety shot. Would have liked to have got that cue ball almost touching the black. And Mark Allen has to make the decision. What does he do? Does he try and get the cue ball off the side of the pack and down to bulk area? Or does he just play into the pack is what he's doing? Mm. Sticky situation, this. I don't see how it can be resolved. The red in the ball car for the table is available into the left middle. You won't want to leave a chance of this red to the right corner. That's a mistake. He's left his red on. Mm. Short of pace. Wanted to get that cue, that red, and that cue ball tight to this cushion. But more importantly, the red past the middle pocket, potable. Oh well. Wow. Well, that's a surprise and miss. And he's left this long red. Yeah, I'm surprised he played it so slowly. I've always felt with that shot, if you played it a bit firmer, you, you, you couldn't miss it. So here's a shot for Van Jengiri. It's a natural to run round of two cushions, but distance between cue ball and object ball. Mm, that was the problem. The distance had to be very accurate. <coughs> this red closest to the cue ball will go to the far left corner and I think he can just about hold for the black He played it with a bit more pace than I thought he would have done, but it looks as though it's run safe. Well, is he looking at this long pot up into the yellow pocket? He was judging where the cue ball will finish it. Anywhere on the right-hand side of the table. He'd be on the blue with a brown. We could only possibly leave the red he's taken on here. Brave shot this. Can only leave that red as long as it doesn't come over this left middle pocket when it hasn't. He certainly goes with shots, doesn't he, John? I mean, he potted some spectacular pots this morning in that opening session. Yes, the exuberance of youth. 
Sometimes they don't think about the consequences. Get a few years under your belt on the tour, you <laughs> soon do. Mm. Tell me about it. Oh, well, here's another chance. Mark Allen playing a containing safety shot, but the extreme right red of the pack is potable up into the yellow pocket. And there's no doubt he'd be taking this on once again. I can only leave the red that he's taken on here, so takes the pressure off slightly. This looks better. One. Ooh. Just got into the cue ball a little bit too much. <laughs> Good pot. We'll just have a look at the cue ball just not on the black. Blue ball. On thing E one. Quite a clever shot that. As long as he covered the red near the green, he knew it was going to be causing Mark Allen a few problems. Getting the extension on the rest and on the cue. And the way he's looked, he'll be looking to try and put that cue ball near the far left corner pocket. Got to be careful, it doesn't go in the pocket, of course. Where's that cue ball going? Oh! Thank you. <laughs> Worst one tonight, John. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. I'll tell you what, it's not turned out to be too bad. Quite awkward queuing. the containing safety shot on this red that's close to the bottom right corner pocket could even take on the pot but very risky oh what a shot that is One. is he on the blue it's close what a shot I think he is you know well, at that pace, at that length from the jaws of the pocket, you won't see too many better pots than that over the course of the championship. No, and particularly when you're that Six. close. Look, he's hardly anywhere to put his bridge hand. <coughs> Remarkable pot. Seven. Mm, he's misjudged that though. It's amazing, John, isn't it? Just because he put that little extra piece on the bottom of the queue, he got into it because of the extra weight that it adds to the queue. He was trying to stun that cue ball onto the cushion. 
and up for the blue. But because of the extra weight on the cue, we got into the cue ball too much. And it's gone wrong. Bramble. Mark Allen set. Well, he's looking at maybe putting the cue ball down this near the top cushion behind the black, but he's got to be very careful here. He could be setting himself up for a trap. Because that red beside the black, well, Mark could easily land the snooker behind the black, and he could be in big trouble here. All he has to do, push the red away from the black, snooker him behind the black, and could be in a a little bit of trouble. Okay, so one cushion escape. He would feel and maybe try and nestle into the, the reds below the pink, but it could go wrong. It's not certainly to be safe. To this red, just left to the black. It's got to be careful. Oh, he's played that well. Well, hats off. He's played that really well. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you, it wouldn't have been my choice to come <laughs> off there. I'd have been nestling, as you said, on those, that little cluster below the pink. Played it perfectly. Every credit. Another good safety shot there from, from Mark Allen.
Good pot. One. But not on a colour. behind that brown this way on that side of the table want to see exactly where he wants to put the cue ball and maybe use the brown use the green as well just get it tight to that ball cushion just make the one queuing for his opponent just a little bit more awkward Well, he may be on this long red into this left corner pocket there. You can see he has enough of it. But the problem is, takes it on and misses it. He's leaving that red over the left center. So that's why he's playing this one, trying to get back to bulk maybe. He's got to avoid some reds. He's played this well. That's a good shot. Okay, he's not tied to the ball cushion. And he's left his opponent possible shot to nothing here. Half a chance. No, is this half a chance for Mark Allen? He refused this red to this left corner a few shots ago, but that's because he was tight on the cushion. He can get his hand on the table this time. He doesn't fancy it. Safety was guaranteed. This red that's close to the left hand side cushion, lots of right hand side. We've got to avoid the reds on the way back up. Doesn't want to hit the middle pocket. Ooh. It's pretty good though. Covered it. He had the red in the middle of the table. Blocking the path to this one near the right corner. So all in all, he, he's pleased with that. an excellent safety shot well worked out he's got the cover on the blue for this red over the right corner 
it's not easy to get back to bulk. We're gonna take this red on. Oh, this is tough. Maybe forced into having a go. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> I tell you what, this young boy, he pots some balls, I tell you. Speed and the power of it. Yeah, super shot. Left with a tricky yellow, though. There's pressure on this. But when you're 7 3 behind, you've got to deal with it. Yeah, well played. Oh, that's a bad kiss on the blue. Unlucky. Three. <clears throat> oh, yeah, just if he missed that blue, he was perfect on this red into the right corner. Very unlucky indeed. Job here. He's going to hide the red on the right hand side near the right hand corner pocket. He's got to hide this red left corner pocket. Yeah, good shot from his opponent. Nice gesture. No, it is pretty good. He hasn't. He has left this red into the right corner, but oh, it was tough, very tough. And if he takes it on, he's got no idea where the cue ball's going. Yeah, I think it's one of those where you consider which is the easiest: the pot or the safety. And a miss on thing E4. Mark, considering the thin cut was too difficult, I don't blame Fan for having this replaced. Made certainly hit it that time, but obviously hit it much too thick. Now the red on the extreme left of the table is potable, but you can't avoid running into other reds. So where does the colour come from? He has a pretty good line for safety, back to the bulk end. Couldn't avoid a kiss on the second yeah. round, but he's on the colour. <laughs> a tremendous spot. As you said, John, it's very hard to avoid those reds. 
the one thing he does do, which is so admirable, is he fully commits. What a potter. Yeah. Could take pink or blue here. He's taking a more difficult pink. Seven. That red is just above the red on the pink spot. Just pot into this left corner pocket. Maybe trying to get up for maybe top side of the blue this time. Eight. Yeah, lovely. And now. in good position so one good more positional shot here from green or blue it's not straightforward this though it's not You've got to be very careful here with the cue ball it's not like you can put it in an area for two or three reds but mm, needs to go 11 Good shot needed here. Nicely, well, on this red to the left corner. Look at the one to the right corner. Well, to me, I don't know, it's how you see it, obviously, when you're at the table, but play this red to the left corner. He knows he's going to run into the other red. Can he use the reaction of the cue ball? Well, he's decided the one to the right corner. He feels as though he can avoid a kiss on a second red and he's got more control. As I say, you're at the table, you see it better. Well, he thought he had more control. It didn't work out, though. Twelve. Something twelve. Well, that was a, a chance. You have to say he didn't make the most of. And he's left a pot on. But not punished for that loose safety. What a terrific pot. Cue ball near the cushion though doesn't help. Pot the colour and get position, good position on the next red. It's going to be difficult. Brown ball. Oh, 
Well, that was the problem. Close to cushion, striking I down. If you don't hit the cue ball in the middle, you just impart a little bit of side and it throws it offline. And that's what happened there. Yeah, he's left this red into the left corner pocket. We doesn't have a great angle to try and push this red just above the black out away. Can he get on the black into the same pocket? It's the force it. One. Mm -hmm. He's not on the black. I mean, the black is potable, but he's gone away from the reds. Pink is available. He's having a look at the brown. But Can he put the black? Get that cue ball in and out of ball back for these reds. It'd be some shot. There's a lot of traffic in the way. Could take the pink on, but he's once again he's going away from the reds. The pink was respotted. He wouldn't be on that red beneath the pink spot. Difficult to avoid those ball Eight. colors. If he missed the green, he may have <coughs> hit the brown. Yeah, and he's left himself with a tricky safety shot now. This isn't straightforward by any means. Well, is he going to take the pot on? He is. Not far away, but when you get that close and the cue ball's running towards the red, always in danger of getting the double kiss. This now the longest frame of the match. One. But fan Shang Ji won't won't mind. It's a frame he desperately needs. And I have to say, his favourite for it now. Just making certain the black goes to the opposite corner is this red. If it does, automatic position. And it obviously 16. does. Hard to see him not getting to snookers required now. Yeah, and he looks pretty confident still. In the ball with lots of authority. Even as he walks around the table, you know, he's got a good confident 20. walk. Doesn't look at all nervous. 24. Got some good balls in this frame without much reward, but this black 
will surely give him his first frame. And he'll reduce the deficit. 31. And he's just letting his opponent know that, well, he's still in this match. 32. He is going to win it, Mark Allen. He knows he's going to have to play well and score well, as he did in the first frame Perfect. of the evening. Very impressive performance, John. Perfect. Yeah, and particularly, I think this is a type of frame you'd have thought would have suited Mark Allen rather than the inexperienced debutant, but he's mixed it with him and he's taken these well. Thank you. 43. Just not enough top spin on the cue ball to get around for the brown, but may be able to cut it in still. <laughs> Calling all pockets. He won't be bothered about the brown. It was a nice break from young Fan Zhengji, and he reduced his deficit, but Mark Allen still leads by seven frames to four. Thank you. Frame 12. Mark Allen to break. Yes, yeah, Stephen's right. Always calls it is, does our Stephen, but uh, yeah, I agree with him. And as we all know, Ken, unless we forget, the seeds are always under that little bit of extra pressure, aren't they, when they come at the first round at the Crucible? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Want to get over that first round, get into, of course, three sessions in the second round, best of 25. And of course, these qualifiers, you know, they've been very, very sharp. They've won some matches, of course, to get here. 
sum of 1, 4. Fan is 1, 2. Maybe Julian. Boyko. 10, 8. And then his final qualifying round, as I mentioned, Steve Maguire. 10, 6. Very, very impressive. From 4 0 down. Mark Allen has been given his opponent the utmost respect. As you said, the type of frame, the scrappy frames that the, expect, the experienced player would have the, the slight advantage. But that wasn't the case. Good shot that he's covered the reds. He may maybe on this red, but he has to swear a bit. What's he looking at if he leaves or comes off? Maybe one cushion, two cushions to nestle on this red on the top cushion. What's he leaving into the left center pocket? He's attempting to swerve. Oh, a very clever shot. Purposely played off the top cushion, clipping the reds on the way back. Very, very good. Left a pot on. Black's not available. If it's very straight, you'll have a problem getting to the colour. Has he got any sort of angle? Yes, he has. So he can run through off the top cushion, back for the blue. With a cracking pot. Blue, or bought colour. Ramsey stops short of the bolt line, which will it, it will do comfortably. What a terrific shot from the young man. Well, he's got a few options of reds to land on, but what he's been contemplating is that red that's left of the black. How is he going to get on that eventually and try and free up the black? Oh, is he overrun at this time? Oh, mistake. Oh. He's playing for those two reds, just left of the pink into this left corner pocket. May still be on the red that's close to the cushion, but much more difficult pot. Four. Decent scoring chance that.
Now has he not left a pot on? Now the fact that the fan's looking towards the bulk end means he's just got a safety in mind. One. The dreaded fluke. Now, will he play the pot on the yellow? No, he won't. He's just rolling in behind it. Mark Allen one. Looks like he's in a don't take any risk mode, Ken. Well, yeah, and I don't see what advantage he's gaining from that little roll up. That's the difference we've been talking about, Mark Allen, this season. Maybe a season ago or two seasons ago, he made it, may have taken that yellow one into the middle pocket. Normally ultra aggressive, but he's taken on this very measured approach over the last season. I mean, he's been very successful, his most successful season. But it, that's just sort of a evidence right there and he's not going to get any advantage from that little roll up whatsoever here straight forward roll onto this red here available into the left centre pocket so just to roll back to the bulk area Land for the cue ball. And there's the uh, Crucible Theatre. I usually say from that shot, in all its glory, but we know what's happened early on tonight, so. Anyway, all eyes on this table. It's becoming a bit of a battle, this can, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly not. Free flowing snooker. Oh, a bit of a war of attrition at the moment. I'm just trying to eke out opportunities for each other. Now, an opportunity here for Mark Allen. Surely he'll take this red on into the left corner pocket. He's such a good long potter. He's refused a lot of balls. The last frame or two. Started off with that magnificent one two six in the opening frame. Wonderful crowd in tonight. Could hear a pin drop. Here we go.
Oh, that's more like it. That's much more like it. What a shot. One. That more kill power. Wow. Have a look at this. Look at the fizz on this white job. Turn your phones off, please. Well, that was a tremendous shot <laughs> from Mark. And he's got, he just deserves, he's on the green. Overrun that though. Play for the red that's immediately below the pink. Straight on it. It's got lots of control of the cue ball, but not quite now. I'll have to go up for a bought colour again. Five. Good recovery. There's a few reds he could play on here. Those reds in a line just below the pink. Both potable. The red below that. Above the black spot is available as well. This looks pretty good. He's on that red just above the black. Perfect. Seven. Eight. They drop on those two reds now, just below the pink. Thirteen. Once again, John, cue ball, it's not good. Could have been a little bit straighter on one of these reds. He takes the bottom when he's running into the, the one above it. Not guaranteed position, doesn't like it. Should have been a lot straighter. He's overrun the cue ball there. A good six or eight inches. This time the poor Mark position of shot caught him out. Well, as you said uh, a few minutes ago, Ken, this is a, becoming a war of attrition here. And uh, the way the, the reds are situated, can't see any quick end to this frame. Okay, Fan Zengji is in control of the situation, but 
Unless he gets in behind the green and the brown, he's not going to gain any great advantage from these shots. Mistake. But it's not a great table to come to, in all fairness. The pink is slightly out of commission. You can only try and get on the, the blue here. And he's played this nicely. Well. Wow. Yeah, he's played it nicely. He's got top side of the blue. Now, we could play into those maybe three reds around the, the black. Could play on a loose one, but I don't know. It would be a bad idea going into those three reds and just take a chance. What do you think, John? Yeah, I agree. Play the cannon. Two reds to the left of the black. Try and bring things into play. Well, he's playing for the loose red. Pots this. He's not guaranteed to be on a colour anyway. Six. Okay, in potting it, he'll bring another one into play. No, he's probably got the one that's closest to the left corner. Needs to get right side of the blue. Mm. I'm not saying he played the wrong <laughs> shot because Six. I was very surprised he missed that. And if he'd have potted that, he'd have made another red available into that corner. So I can, you see the red just to the left of the black would have been available. Didn't see him missing that. But that's what happens at this game. You have these long bouts of safety and it just takes the edge off your potting. Always been the way. Yeah, it's also the concentration, isn't it? The concentration levels drop slightly. Once again, he hasn't left anything here, so just a safety shot back to the ball area. Yeah, good safety, good length for the cue ball. Good reply needed. And slowly but surely, the Reds that were in a very awkward situation are just beginning to get into open play, which makes any mistake probably costly.
Yes. Not on the colour. But as they used to say in question the sport, what happened next? Green ball. Fanzingi one. Yeah, no bonus point for that one, John either. Some amazing balls, though, hasn't he? He's not really got any reward for it. Big target to get on the, the two reds that are just left at a black near the top cushion. Yeah, you always feel in these situations, oh, the blue looks like five times as big <laughs> as it is, doesn't it? It's a big object in the middle of the table. And that's what you've got to avoid running into. Needs to go. If it hits it, it might be good enough. Oh, oh unlucky. And a miss. Great attempt. But it'll be going back. <laughs> He's got a good line. Yeah, as you say, he got a good line. He's found the, the escape route, so to speak. So, highly unlikely he'll leave a pot on. Unless he overhits it badly. Just shows you, doesn't it? Put that extra little bit of pace in it, and it just changed the angle it came off the cushion. Nice, easy starter. Yeah, nice, easy starter. You can get on the black here, and you see that red that he's very, very close to will pot into the same pocket. So he's got a couple of straightforward wow. shots here and drop the black in, try and get on that red now into the left corner pocket. So you could accumulate some nice points here before he has to attack the safe reds. Eight. No. Well, I must say, John, whatever Mark Allen has shown on him, not only in you know his break building, but his safety. This young man has well, he's been equal to it. In fact, he's been trapping Mark Allen, which you would expect the other way 16. around. Yeah, that's what's impressed me more than anything. I mean, good long potting, but yeah, he's competed in the safety exchanges. 17. It's not a straightforward run to the line. These three reds near the top cushion are going to be, well, 
big obstacles to overcome, but he can build up a useful lead here. Foul. Oh dear me, he's feathered the cue ball. 17, Mark Allen set. He's feathered the cue ball. You don't see that often. What an error. Just must have feathered the cue. Yes, you can saw the, the cue ball move. What a let off for Mark Allen. And if it had crept past the green, he'd have taken full advantage of it. He'd be disappointed he didn't. Mistake and an unforced error. What fun is he? I think Mark Allen can cut this red in. Cue ball going up and down the table. No. Gone off the boil slightly, Mark Allen. Sorry guys, I'm already upset with today's incident, really very upset. I don't know why, but I'm upset. These long protracted and frames are not doing any good for either player here. Any type of the concentration is dropping considerably. I, I change the chat room to mute all the chats. I hope you don't mind and respect. I'm sorry, guys. Mm, there. Mistake. <laughs> okay, he hasn't left anything very easy, but a possible pot on this red up into the yellow pocket. Try and hold for the blue. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Pretty close. Oh, good. Now well, can he pot this red? And get on a colour. Maybe running into yellow or brown here. But Gonna make sure the pot first. Oh well, he's managed to find the gap. One. That may work out. He's on pink or blue. Pink may be the best shot here. If he can pot the pink, he can get close to that red. Just below it. The blue, taking the blue, the cue ball's traveling. A lot more distance. I think the pink is a better shot here. Blue is straightforward, but pink is better for position. Six. Just coming round to see where he just like to leave the black just off straight. So in potting the black, he can run through and disturb those two reds near the top cushion. you got there, it looks perfect. Chance here to develop at least one of these reds. Oh, we don't play it that hard. I mean, okay, it looks like he's played for the one on the cushion, but if he'd have just played that with less pace, he wouldn't have had as much throw off the cue ball and he could have got that cannon. Yeah, it was perfect, wasn't it? He just plays that a little bit more softly, as you said. Okay, he's still on this red, but he has to play this. He's just got to stun it out with a bit of pace. If he just drops it in, I don't think he's going to miss it, but he's got to play this with a little bit of pace, a bit of stun. Oh, good shot. And he's got a nice angle as well. He's played that nicely. 26 in front. So he's going to need one red and one more colour. But he's got an angle to screw into the red. It's just off the cushion. If he can screw in, knock that away, he'll be on the other one. Got a hit cushion forced here. Oh. Fifteen. Yeah, just an experience, and I know these lads are used to making big breaks all the time, but you don't play it like that, you cue it. All he had to do was cannon the red that was just away from the cushion and leave yourself on the other one. No need to squeeze it in.
Crowley's tried to play the double kiss on the red. Get that cue ball back to Bork, but always a problem with that shot. You don't know where the red's going to finish, and he's left once again another chance. A long pot. He's been quite successful on these particular type of shots. Oh, it's close. He's played that with an element of safety. I mean, look where he's left the cue ball. safety from Mark Allen and once again possible pot on He's giving him chances yeah he's thought about both of them but surely the red to play is the one in the middle didn't have to bother about going in the ball can he'd be unlucky not to be on the blue Thin. He's going to catch the bump in the middle pocket as well. <coughs> Not half chances. Going to begging. <coughs> it's funny when the match started this evening. <coughs> I was having a conversation about how Mark had become a little bit pedestrian in his style of play and you know, I was looked at the average shot time and it was at 23 seconds. It's now 26. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes the balls dictate how a frame's going to be played out. But I just think he's gone a little bit into, into his shell. You know, sometimes you've got to stamp your authority on a match. He's just trying to grind it out. To me, that favours the other man. But he's found the pot. And as I say, he'd be unlucky not to be on the blue. What? He's unlucky. <laughs> In a sort of strange sort of way, he's probably better off playing the snooker this time, John, because, you know, if he is on the blue, he's not guaranteed to get on the red, whereas he took some right up behind the green here, pushes the brown towards the green pocket. He has his opponent in all sorts of trouble. <coughs> got to get that cue ball tight to the green. He does want to push the brown safe. He's got to push it towards that green pocket. Keep it in open play because he, he's going to need it should he get a chance. Mark Allen's one. Done that, but he's got the snooker behind the yellow instead. No problem about not getting close to the colour with the cue ball. He leaves the opportunity of an easier escape. Now we can just come off this top cushion, hit the red, hope for the best. Could get lucky. And he's got lucky. And that's the difference, wasn't it, John? I mean, if he gets that tight to the green, the cue ball, he's got to come off two or three cushions. He can't get really good separation on red or cue ball. Yeah, he leaves the players at this level on one cushion escape. They usually have a little bit of control on the object ball. Fair play to Fan though, he played it well. <coughs> Trying to get the snooker, but not quite. And although the, the difference is 25 points in saying he's favour. Feel whoever pots this red should win the frame.
Yeah, very good shot. Very clever. Tried to get the cue ball behind the yellow and purposely playing that red up and down the table. Try and get cover on pink or black as well. time coming up to 46 minutes and that's a massive frame for both players oh this looks pretty good if it goes past the blue oh, almost yeah it's all about fractions, this game. Now then, send this red on and off the ball cushion. The only thing you've got to be careful of here is the double kiss. The possibility to get in behind yellow and green. Just a bit shorter pace. This red is on. I wonder will he take it on into either corner pocket here. Plenty of reward if it goes in. Same choice as shot. For fan here. Had a quick glance at the score. He's 25 points in the lead. If he pots this ready, definitely going to be on blue or brown. Could be a frame winner. This. So here's a chance, mid-range, red and a colour needed. Right in the heart of the pocket, he's on the pink. And that's all that's needed, to leave Mark Allen needing a couple of snookers. So. Last frame was the longest of the match. This has surpassed that. Seven. But as we said at the time, remarkably they're going to Han Sheng Yi. Nine. He's competing in the safety exchanges. <coughs> it has to be said, Ken, potting the better long balls. Yeah, he's been the more positive of the two for sure. Mac Allen has well. somehow since that opening frame, he's just completely gone into a shell. 16. He needs to shake himself out of it because he's back <coughs> in a match with his young opponent. You don't want to be losing 46, seven minute frames to someone who's 21. less experienced than you. Giving him a chance and he's duly taken it. Massive frame coming up now before the mid-session interval. 27. This young boy, still giving himself a great chance. Black doesn't go in, but once again, almost a 50 minute frame. But it's Fang Zheng Yi, cuts the gap now. It's only two frames in it. Mark Allen leads, seven frames to five.
regarding this table. Um, what's going to happen is uh, what should have been the concluding session of Rob Milkins and Joe Perry will still happen uh, tomorrow evening. These guys are going to finish. Normally we have a lie-in on a Thursday, but we're going to play. It's either half nine or ten o'clock on Thursday morning. So all of you who have bought a ticket are going to be emailed by World Snooker. So I think if you want to uh, come back and you're available, the concluding session, this session that should have happened, will be the finish of the match on Thursday morning at half nine. Uh, so if you are... Yes, but this, what you're missing will then become the second session because the first session is going to be tomorrow night when the match should have finished. So Milkins and Perry will play tomorrow night their session one that should have been the end of the match and the second session to finish the match will be the ones that you have tickets for on Thursday morning. So we will have an extra unscheduled session for you. Okay. Ready? 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sage, please. These times is according to UK time. Thank you, quietly now. Thank you. Frame 13. Fun thing you need to break. Well, when it went to 7 3, you just thought, well, this is the top seed, coasting his way through. Not anymore. Hello, oh, that's a good pot. One. The mid session interval after this frame. Started the evening, Mark Allen, with a three frame advantage. Big frame, this. He can go to the mid session interval with that three frame advantage still intact. Well, if he loses it, just one frame ahead, and anything could happen then, but that's a superb positioning shot. Now, can he get his scoring boots back on? Seven. Yeah, that's more like it. Great opening pot, great second shot. Now can he get back into a rhythm? Playing on the loose red at the bottom of the pack. 
14. Potting this, he may push into the other red. Well, he's going to screw back off the pack. So he may bring one or two more into play. Fifteen. Lost the cue ball. Yeah, and the problem is when you tie it to the cushion, just drop the black in. He may have a red to the far left corner. But he kind of pot the black. Mark Allen, fifteen. Yeah, just had to drop it in, and as you can see there, that red on the right-hand side does go to the left middle, and that probably the pocket that Han Zheng Yi will opt for. He'd love to have a nice angle on the blue. I have one criticism when he's playing those shots. He just seems to overhit them to me. Yeah, he just he likes to punch the ball, doesn't he? Doesn't like to drop the ball in. And I mean, a lot of other players may have just dropped that almost dead weight into the middle, try and go top side of the blue. He likes to stun them in with pace. And as we saw from that replay, and he sort of. My new inaccuracy, and they won't go in. Thank you. Well, that was a fine shot, more ways than one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to remove this strip in a minute. Don't worry, guys. This is to inform you all. The attacking safety, and he's got the cover <laughs> with the yellow and the reds on the left hand side of the table. So, this is a, a telling safety here. No straightforward run back to Bork. The spot of bother here is fun. So I hope everyone understands that I'm going to remove this strip. No happy wonder, it's uh, just to inform you all. Thank you, Varesha. Ha, table ka to kaam ho gaya, kapda change ho gaya. Nothing happened to other channel. Gaurav, kuch bhi nahi hua us channel pe. Main evening session is pe kar raha hon, aur morning session dousre pe kar raha hon. 
no happy wonder you you people not upset me इफ्तार में यार आज मैंने सीधे डायरेक्ट पुलाव खाया था खाना खाया भजिए भजिए थे थोड़े से थे थैंक यू अंश My pleasure. <coughs> well, this time he's not tight to the ball cushion as he left this red into this bottom right corner pocket. You're seeing. Some amazing pots from Fan already this evening. Are we going to see another one? He's taking it on, is he? Looking right down the line. Fantastic. What a shot. One. Another. Tell you what, we could make a great compendium of shots over fan tonight and throughout this match Johnny some of the long pots have been outstanding yeah nothing short of sensational but he's still got to prove to me I mean I know he's had a century break already in this match but I'd just like to see him make the most of these opportunities so far this evening he's not really it's been all bits and pieces I mean okay the black's tied up but the rest of the covers are in the open, so you'd think decent chance, good positional shot here, the order of the day. Well, this looks good. Oh, he's played that very well. Sort of force the angle. On the cue ball off the yellow down the left hand side of the table now. Just having a look. He'd like to take the red just above the pink spot. Get the pink on its spot. This would certainly free the spot up a little bit. Oh. <coughs> yes, and this is where you like to be, where you can play little stuns and screws. The cue ball doesn't have to travel too far. Certainly helps with control. See with this pink pot in the left corner. It's only pots into the right corner. I think there's enough room maybe to even go into the left corner, so that will help us cause back up for blue this time. Eleven. How can he hold the cue ball here? He may just have ran just slightly. There you see the pink does pot. He would have liked to get on the, the red second left of the pink, but it looks like he's gone too far. So he may play for the red just above the black spot. 
digging into the cute wall, trying to hold it. Got into it too much. 16. <coughs> yeah. Didn't go right through with the cue that time. He's still on the red, but not straightforward for positions. He's going to maybe have to play through the gap of the two reds back up for the blue. Yeah. It was in perfect position. Nice close control, the order of the day. And as happened so far this evening, just hadn't been able to string enough together when he's had these opportunities. One. And now a chance for Mark Allen. Wrong side of the blue. Tricky pink. So not perfect. Points all square. Wow. Can't believe he was that far wide with it. Hmm. As a player, you'd be very concerned with that. One. All these little misses given his young opponent an extra bit of confidence. It's the last thing he wanted. Not going to be straightforward to win the frame from this position. He'd like to get the pink back on the spot at some stage. But just try Seven. and chip away with these reds and blues. But once again, his position has got to be pinpoint. And that's not a good shot straight away. No, it's not going to be straightforward well. now to Get back for the blue. Thirteen. Well, couldn't avoid the kiss on the second red, so it's in and out of bulk. Got to come down the left-hand side of the table as we look, because those three reds in the middle of the table are only available to the right corner. Decided to come round off two cushions. This looks good. This looks very good. It's as good a positional shot he's played for quite a while. 18 points to lead. Three reds in the middle of the table. And the blues, another 18, 36. He's needing four more reds to clinch the frame at this visit. Sure, he was on the bottom red. Just past.
past the pink. Now he'll be cannoning into the red above it, but he doesn't want to knock it safe, so he's got to be careful here. Once again, he's got to dig into the cue ball. He doesn't want to knock it safe. 25. That's exactly what he's done. So there's still going to be a little bit of life left in this frame. 25 the difference. He's going to play the blue. He's going to try and knock maybe one of these reds into play. But very difficult from this position. Mm. It's funny that, John, isn't it? It's like the second red he took. He knocked one red onto the right-hand side cushion and that previous red he played, he knocked the other red onto the side cushion. Reds he needed out in the open. Yeah, well, you called it. Just that little bit of an experience, shot selection. I mean, you'd rather have just made certain you didn't knock the red near the cushion and not leave yourself perfect on the blue. He's trying to get perfect on the blue and knocking a red safe. But he's still favourite for this frame. I'm saying 30. Mid session into as we say, coming up after it. And, well, Mark Allen, I have a lot to think about. Just. If he was to lose it, just one frame in front. And all to play for. Yeah, particularly at one stage. He was 5-0 up in this match. Seems a long, long time ago now. Once again. Playing a containing safety shot. He might have been better off trying to get that pink out into the open there. This is not hurting his opponent. giving him a straightforward shot and a possible double. Oh, worth having a go. This was close. That's the one thing about the crucible, isn't it, John? You know, when the double is going towards the middle pocket and the people in the front or second row, they can see it. They've got a bird's eye view of it. They start clapping before it's going in, but they knew it wasn't in. It gets so close here. It just makes this beautiful theater so special. This is going close to the middle pocket. And he's okay. It's held up. Good shot, that. Mark Allen needs all these reds out in the open just to put a little bit of pressure on his opponent. 30 point deficit. Bad idea, even knocking a red up into the bulk area. Could play off one of these reds and get the cue ball into bulk, but you could play this red beside the black and knock that up into the bulk and get this cue ball back behind the black spot on this top cushion as long as he doesn't leave that red into the left centre pocket. Yeah, see, that forces his opponent into play a little bit more of a aggressive shot. He can't play a really containing safety shot here. Now he has a few problems. Doesn't want to take that red off the right cushion. And if he plays the cue ball into bulk, he could leave that red into the right center pocket. That's what he's looking at.
he'll certainly be happy with the outcome. He took that red on, but obviously getting that cue ball to the ball carrier was his priority. <laughs> be happy because he's got all reds out in the open. Not as straightforward this. Yeah, the black near the right hand side cushion causes a problem when you're trying to get back to Bork, as does the pink on the opposite side. Got to be careful here. 30 point lead. Could disappear quite quickly if he left a pot on for his opponent. round of applause that was very well worked out <laughs> using the angle of the middle pocket here to get back the bulk Pretty good. Be happy with that. Oh, was so close to the pot, wasn't he? So very close, trying to pot his way out of trouble. Once again, I'd have to say just the pace kept it out. And the cue ball somehow disappeared into the corner, so here's the chance that Mark Allen was looking for. Big moment in the match. Mm, could have played this better. But he got it. Twenty points behind. He's going to need at least up to the pink, Six. depending on what colours he plays, maybe the black. He'll be aware of that, of course. But it's a chance. Seven. Yeah, this red is close to the yellow pocket. It's not ideal for a left-hander. Well imperative he gets a nice angle and putting this blue gets close to the red but has a nice angle to get out for a ball color doesn't want to be straight well 
And he looks pretty straight. He's not one of those players that can switch hands and so he's getting the extension. Extended rest. So even a brown with this red. We still only need pink. He screwed up for the blue. He said it nice. He said it lovely. Perfect. So, as you said, John, that pink could be the pivotal Sorry. ball in this frame. Torn out to be. 18. Mike Allen could steal it. <coughs> 20. The big shot you feel. Oh, it was his really on a clearance, but I feel more so this time is. Position from brown to blue. He needs a nice angle on the blue. The way the pink is, I think he's maybe looking to try and bring the pink away from the side cushion. Twenty-seven. That's what the intention is, but he's underscrewed it slightly. It's not a natural. You'll have to put a little bit of right hand side on the cue ball here. Didn't get enough right hand side on it. 32. Now then. Just the pink needed. I suppose, Ken, with the black being fairly safe, worth the risk. Definitely. If he can reach it, he may need the extension. A little extension, it's only about four or five inches. We could reach this, but it's worth having a go. Doesn't look like he's going. He might play the double here into the opposite corner pocket. If he misses, he'll still get safe. Watch the pink into this right corner pocket. Where's the cue ball? It's going very close. It's okay. It's safe. Markaren 32. But, well, it's still in the balance. Yeah, it was a brave man for me to refuse that pot on the pink. As I say, with the insurance of having the black in a fairly safe position, well, I'd have found it very hard to turn it down. Yeah, I agree. Will he play the double here, John? He's got a chance again. Once again, in, back into this bottom right corner pocket. Double. Cue ball back into bulk. He went for it. This time he might have left it. Oh, what an error. Should have played that with a lot more pace if he misses it. Pink comes back into a safe position, but he's left this. But certainly not straightforward. The left-hand middle pocket. Watch the cue ball. Could go very close to it. Oh, he's missed it. Now, surely, Mark Allen can pot the pink. Well, what an error. So it'll be a very relieved Mark Allen. Pot this pink, he's got his three fame advantage back. And I would suggest we'll be very, very relieved. Well, it was a war of attrition, no doubt about it. We were a long four frames. And the end result is as you were, Mark Allen with a three frame advantage.
Thank you. Frame 14, Mark Adam to break. So no more intervals. This match will now be played to a finish. First 10, remember. Mark Allen just two away. Could have been oh so much closer. I have to say a little bit unfortunate was Fan Zheng Yi in that last frame before the interval. Could quite easily have got the deficit down to one frame. Excellent return of safety from Mark Allen there. Blocked the path down the left-hand side and indeed down the right-hand side of the table. There you see the blue has blocked the path. Uh, he's got to be careful here. He's going to play a two-cushion escape. Could easily leave this red on if he doesn't catch it properly and he hasn't. <coughs> now is he on this red into the left corner? It's always the possibility. I think he is. Yep. <coughs> One. Well, what an error. Normally so precise with his cue ball, but I've got to be careful here. Into a blind pocket, this is missable. Yeah, well played. Nice shot. Eight. Seventeen. Well, he's left himself a nice angle on the black here. Screw into the pack. And still be on that red. It's just the left of the black here. What's the cue ball here? And there you see the screw on it. Perfect. He's so good at that shot. Wonderful. Cue ball hits the pack and then the second white reacts. We'll have a look at the reds now. 25. Yeah, if it wasn't for that red up in the other half of the table near the cushion, you'd be thinking maximum here. Couldn't have opened much better. The black's nicely available into both corners. He won't be thinking that. He wants to win this frame and then be one frame away from a place in the second round.
all ready now. I'd be thinking of going up for the blue rather than staying okay. on the black. Thirty-three. Mm. It's not good, is it, John? I mean, this should have been top side of the blue. No, the balls are a little bit awkward. They're all sort of blocking each other here. So he's got a. There's only one that he's got to stay side of the blue, and he's got to play this one from now mid distance could play one with the rest that's maybe closest to this bottom 30. right corner pocket but it might be better off just stretching for the one close to the right cushion Thirty three. all right good pot good. once again not top side of the blue now this time the cue ball will have to do a bit of mileage We'll get back down towards these reds. You'll be happy with that. You'll be happy with that. He would have picked it up and placed it in his hand. He couldn't have put it any better than it is. Fifty two. Fifty-three. Mm -hmm. Just slightly got into the cue ball. A bit too much. Didn't get enough of a bounce off this top cushion. So once again, may have to use the red just to hold the cue ball. Played it well. Got the pot, and he's on a red into this right corner pocket. Sixty. Sixty one. Nicely on the green. Red adjacent to the left middle. So just looking now, red colour and then sixty four ye will need a snooker. But from Mark Allen's point of view, more importantly, just one frame away from winning this match and a place in the second round. Sixty-five. Seventy-one. 
72. Well, the highlight of the evening so far was in the 10th frame when Mark made that marvellous break of 126. 77. Seventy-eight. Frame well and truly over. It's just a case now of whether he can make his second century of the evening. Eighty-five. I think we might see it now, though. Good shot. Eighty-six. Perfect on the black. It's funny, Ken, isn't it? How we say there's never two frames alike. Ninety-three. Yeah, and it's been a. Magnificent break. 94. Crucible crowd. They love a sentry. Yeah, is it not the red out into play? Oh, unlucky. Mark Allen's 569th century of his career. Five. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter about one. the red. A wonderful century for Mark Allen. That's more like it. That's more like it. One from home. He leads now. Nine frames to five. Thank you, frame 15, Fan Zeng Yi to break. Fan Zeng Yi breaking off. He'll hope it won't be for the last time in this year's Kazoo World Championship. It's a big, big ass now though. The point of no return. And the one thing you do know for certain, Mark Allen's not going to be frightened of the winning line. Yeah, he's got a, well, to play unmissable snooker at the, the next, to we'll try and win these next five frames. <coughs> that was such a huge frame, wasn't it, John? The, the, the frame just before the mid-session interval. He had a 30-point lead, three reds on the table. Went for a long red, went in off, gave Mark Allen the chance. Then he had a chance at the pink. Yeah. It could have been so different. Mm. And there were certainly signs that Mark was feeling it. <coughs> oh, 
but all the mistakes you make in a match, if you go on to win it, you can erase them very quickly from your memory. When you lose, they stay with you. Mm, this looks good. Great shot. One. And he's on the block. Very well worked out. This is what he has to do. And when he gets these chances, he's got to try and score. Wonderful cue par, how's your look? Well, it's not too bad. Red is on in the right centre, well played. Eight. <laughs> Got plenty of cue par. Nine. Fifteen. Sixteen. I'm just picking up the pace now, trying to get into a, a flow. Of course, this is the problem when you're behind as he is, you're just trying to rattle off the frames as quickly as possible, but don't get ahead of yourself. 22. Thirty-one. Mm, disappointment. <coughs> and not only has he missed it, he's left a nice easy starter for Mark Allen. Mm, just this nicely. One. He's got a loose red, but surely can't turn down this opportunity play the cannon just miss the pink if anything on the right hand side well he's decided to come off two cushions hmm well Six. he's on a red maybe he felt he was too straight on the blue it didn't look like from where we were but He's on a red. Seven. Well, so close. How did it not drop? I can't believe you missed that one, John. <laughs> because it didn't go in, Ken. <laughs> Okay, can he drop the blue in and 
and hold for a red into this right corner pocket. The red left of the pink is available into the right middle. Just tried to hold the cue ball. Oh, he's played that well. Very, very good indeed. The pink is on into the left corner. Well. Ninety. Miss Black gets in within four points on the scoreboard. <coughs> so the key to this frame and possibly the match are going to be those four reds clustered together. Mark just having a look if one of them is potable. Don't think there is. So he's going to be thinking about playing a cannon. Nothing on, I don't see. 28. Well, maybe there's one on, or is there a possible plant, John? There's two reds 35. in the line there. Maybe touching one of the reds, but he's having a look at the possibility of a plant. The bottom red doesn't pot, definitely, but these are in line, but if they're touching, so he's just having a look. Well, there's a little bit of a gap between them, so he should be okay. Yeah, this is a bonus. This will bring all four reds into play. 36. <laughs> well, he was hoping to be a little bit straighter on this pink as we see this plant again. Onto the cue ball just to come back just maybe a fraction more. He still has this pink into the right centre. Yeah, it's there. Good shot. <laughs> 42. 11 points to lead. You'll need the four remaining reds. The only slight upside for him is the red, the tough red near the right hand side cushion. He won't need a colour with that if he can cope with these two in the middle of the table. Touch on that red. Bring it into play. Quick glance at the scores once again. Two reds and 50. blacks. <coughs> be 34 points in the lead. So it makes a difference, doesn't it? As you said, John, he doesn't need a colour with that last red that's close to the right hand side cushion. What way is he going to try and play on it? He could play on it for pink, he could play on it for black. But if he gets behind that red in a few shots time, he can just roll it down the cushion. Pink is his choice. Needs a little bounce off this right-hand side cushion. The cue ball. Oh, he's gone too far. Oh. 
worst possible place he could have landed there. Anywhere but there. 64. Yeah, 33 points to lead, 35 remaining. Got to take it on. It's match ball. But yeah. With that type of shot, you're always looking to bounce it off the side cushion. It gives you a sort of feel for the shot. The red for the match. Oh! Well, I've got well, 64. Isn't that amazing? He's potted it. Four. He's got enough. But his opponent needs a snooker still. 29 points of difference, just 27 remaining. And you get the feeling that Mark knew that cue ball was going very close to the corner, <laughs> but he thought, well, if I pot the red, he'll still need a snooker. Yeah. Well, with ball in hand, it's not that difficult. And play this cue ball in behind the brown, yellow down, somewhere near pink or black. He's got the snooker, has he? Unless he misses the black. Oh. Wow. No snooker. Certainly a star of the future. And Zing Yi. I think there's no doubt about that. Seen a few of these young Chinese players so far, and they haven't got through, but boy, they're names to look out for. Yeah, they've all played so well. It's on their debut here at the Crucible. Two. Complete. <coughs> justified, playing really give a great account of themselves. And this young man has as well. And he's still in this match. One snooker required. Once again, got to get tight behind the brown. No. Oh, what was it? That could cost him, John. That yeah, could be his last too. shot. It could be. Thank you. It could well be. Should be the clincher. Three. I felt at times maybe Mark treated him with a lot of respect, but why not? He's a talent. Yeah. In goes the Brown. Well, what a night. Seven. It's not all going to be talked about for the snooker. Although <laughs> well, Mark has snookered himself there. But surely if he just hits the blue, three snookers needed anyway. He's hit the blue. Mark it's been a seven. strange night. Frame. But fair play to this crucible crowd who stayed okay, and giving both back. players a standing yeah, ovation. I've been coming here since 1977. I've never known anything like it. But snooker won out in the day. Normal people getting on with their lives. And Mark Allen. Runs out, I come to a winner, 10-5 in the end, and he's through to the second round.
Thank you. 